Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you uh, how to construct my Easy Bridges um, construction that's up on Flickr. Um, it's again made out of lots of two layer hexagons, so I have all my two layer hexagons sitting in front of me here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make some of the basic pieces and then probably cut away and, and uh, make the rest of them. and then uh, when we come back I'll show you the rest of the construction. So to start we get something like this. Let's hope that the autofocus doesn't kill us here. There we are. And fold it up. You, you get a truncated tetrahedron. And then push in all the sides at once. something like this. Now these tips are going to be where we join the figures to each other. So let's and I'll show you sort of the mechanic that's going to be used here. So they join like this, and along there's there's three places here where we have a row of like uh, or well two rows of magnets that are coupled together, and we can fairly easily just lift that up into a bridge, and that's that's a nice property. We can do it a whole bunch. The third one is kind of tricky because it starts to lose structural integrity in the middle. But we get this nice let's see if I come on autofocus. There we are. So well we're not gonna we're not gonna lift all of those bridges out in our construction, so we're just gonna have one per pair, really. But and we, and well we're not gonna do this until the very end anyway. We're just gonna we're going to make a bunch of these and then stick them together and then lift the bridges out. So, let's see that one more time at least. Um, like that. And you're going to need 20 of those tetrahedra. Okay. So here I have 20 of these tetrahedral figures. And we're going to start joining these up at the vertices uh, like this and essentially we're going to make an icosahedron of them so like any good icosahedron they will fit together in fives like this You can really just go at this in any order you you like. It's possible to be really principled about it and do it in layers, but it's not really necessary. Okay, and so here we have um, e what this is what easy bridges looks like before we've separated the bridges from the rest of the structure, and now we can just start 
to uh, lift these bridges out. So there's five of them. And we just continue And there I have it. There's ten. And let's just keep going. Ten more to go. And there you go, there are thirty bridges in total. And pretty fast. You have to be careful while setting it down. The bridges can warp a little. Um, but if you're careful, they don't. And it's a pretty quick construction, given how complicated it looks. Um, which is why I called it easy bridges, because we don't have to put the bridges on. The bridges, where the three of the bridges meet, they can separate a little bit. You might just want to push those in if you're making a photo. There you have it. There's some really pretty shadows that this thing makes when, when you spin it. I enjoyed it anyway. Um, lots of there are lots of fun things that we can do with these. Um, here are some little cubes. They're made of the very same pieces. Only, uh, there are a number of ways that we can attach these. Here I've attached them at the edges. And uh, when attached at the edges, they like to go together. Um, oop, like this. Into nice squares. And then those. Oop, get attached into these, and there are two different uh, types of cubes that you can make. Um, you can also, if you have, well I'd need to sacrifice some of the structure here, but uh, you can make larger cubes where, where the faces are these squares, of course, so you'd need six of this, and you can make two different versions of that. Um, and another thing that you can do, if we just quickly take some of this apart, is you can attach these at the faces instead of at the vertices. And that is similarly it wants to go into an icosahedral structure, but a different one from, from the one that uh, Easy Bridges is made from. So here we get this nice pentagon. If you had um, 4,320 magnets, you could turn these pentagons into a dodecahedron uh, but that's more than I have. Um, but this pentagon is also the beginning of another icosahedral structure, so we can just sort of extend it out. And it'll use it just as many magnets as Easy Bridges did. Um, if I want to complete it, I'll have to start taking apart the other structure. But I'll give it a start. And, whoop. That doesn't... That's... There. Just gonna line them up nicely.
there it is, about half done. You get some of the idea of how it looks. The inside is pretty nice thick structure. And so there you go. Nice little uh, tetrahedral objects. They do lots of fun things.